Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick how-to video um, on powering an Atlas Custom Line Switch Frog. Now, of course, this can only be done if you have the appropriate switch motor that can supply the power. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and go over the tools that I use. So the Frog, from what I understand, is a pot metal versus the actual rail material. So this here is a pot metal. And if you want to power it, you have to use some kind of brass or some kind of solderable type metal. Um, in this case, I use a standard head brass screw and then I end up cutting down to make flush with that tab height like that. And then you can put solder on it. So I went to my local hardware store. I know I wouldn't be able to find a 172 tap, which is the size I'm using. I've got stainless um, pan head sheet metal screws, or just metal screws, whatever you want to call them, uh, with a Phillips head. So to me, that's my tap. It's a harder metal, a little bit harder than uh, the pop metal. Uh, the brass has a harder time going in there, but I don't have a tap, so I use just a stainless steel 172 Phillips head or pan head to pre-tap the tab, just like I did there. And my brass screws, which I got from Walters, are a uh, standard head, which makes it a little bit harder if you're going to try to tapping with that. So I usually put it in about that far, just enough to get in the tab, then I end up cutting flush to the tab height like I said earlier just like that and now you have something that you can actually solder to the pot metal pretty much just rejects the solder I've, I've actually been able to solder pot metal in the past but if you hold heat on this too long it starts to deform um, the plastic underneath starts to melt and it starts to make the frog uh, start to either move either way up or down whatever so it's best not to have that much heat on there so, once that's established, you need to have two track leads. If you've got a tortoise switch, you need to have one wire actually going to the frog itself. Here's a small diagram that I've kind of drawn up. But if you look at the tortoise tabs, you have one and eight, which are your power going into the switch machine. Two and three are your two track uh, wires, which are these two. You got your positive, negative. This determines the polarity that the frog's going to be. And then number four runs to the frog itself. If you have your uh, polarity reversed, that's all you have to do is switch tabs two and three or your wires two and three, and that'll correct the polarity. I always do a track test with a lighted passenger car um, or an engine without a keep alive system in it. Makes things a little easier. So that's that. That's my research on it. Hopefully that helps anyone who's trying to solder Atlas turnouts. I'm sure people have different ways of doing it, like going underneath the layout, but everything's already down, and I needed to put power to the frogs. So that's my little trick to it, I guess. Hit subscribe, like, and uh, I'll have some more videos posted soon.